On a day where Clay and Kaminga sat in Charlotte, it was strength in numbers as Moses Moody clocked 25 minutes, scoring 15 points on efficient shooting. Moody specialized in making both defensive plays and knocking down wide open threes off of cross court and swing passes. So let's break down his game. Moody generally plays a 2 or 3 as we know. Here on the Charlotte pick and roll, we got CP3 fighting over the screen as Trace Jackson Davis comes up high to show on the guard. Trey Mann's pretty shifty here and is able to create an advantage both with dribble penetration and with Mark Williams as a roll man. So Moody takes a big risk by helping off the weak side corner off a shooter. Big Gamble turns into a seal here as Moses makes a perfect lead pass up front for Pachensky for the fast break layup. When Chris Paul gets doubled up top, this forces the Hornets into rotations as there's a 4-3 on three advantage on the weak side. Swing pass to Pajenski, who doesn't settle for an open 3-pointer and instead attacks off the closeout. Charlotte is terrible for good reason, as Bertans rotates to help, but you got two other Hornets just chilling the paint for no reason while there are open Warriors on the weak side. The logical decision is to kick it out to a wide open Wiggins, who see Moses popping out to the strong side corner. Really funny how awful Charlotte rotations are, as that that extra pass lets Moody to capitalize on an open three. Here's another weak side play off the Warriors pick and roll with GP2. The Hornets trap Curry to get the ball out of his hands and Steph counters by making the pass to Payton in the short roll. Now there's another 4 on 3 advantage as Poku rotates over the help and Miles Bridges has the two weak side Warriors. Payton misses Moody first here and instead kicks out to Lester who is closer to Bridges but Quinones is smart and swings that extra pass to a wide open Moody. This forces a slow big man in Mark Williams to close out all the way from the paint and Moses hits another 3 from the wing. Moody doesn't have the best handles, so he's not going to be an on-ball creator often. Here he's able to fake the drive just enough to freeze Trey Mann one pass away, before always expecting Payton to make that timely back cut that he always does. Sweet so bounce pass through the defense as Moses finds GP2 for the dunk. Looney initially sets a ghost screen here and then Golden State runs two simultaneous actions. Pods and CP3 run a get action while Looney sets a pin down for Moody. This play is meant to seek out a shooter on the weak side, as we often see this play for a guy like Clay Thompson for example. Paul reads the screen defender as Miles Bridges does a lazy job getting over the pick. Shout out Moses for this confident catch and shoot while getting fouled on the arm. With a comfortable lead in the fourth, we got a spread pick and roll with the Warriors' two rookies for Brzezinski to attack with a strong left hand. As Brandon Miller fights over the pick while Grant Williams is playing a drop, Charlotte is playing a very strong weak side help coverage as Bertans leaves his man to put both feet in the paint to help. Why you ask? Really not sure since the role man in TJD is out on the three point line and Bertans is pretty much just a bad defender. Pod spots Moody on the weak side corner and counters by making this awesome one armed cross court pass. This forces Bertans to make a much longer recovery and Moody attacks the closeout strong, forcing Grant Williams to make the weak side rotation. Great body control and strength in midair to convert this layup with the contact. Moses has got to keep capitalizing on these catch and shoots, because the defense will most likely live with them. A little pick and roll action with Draymond and the Hornets avoid switching this matchup. Nothing super fancy here as Wiggins sees his defender in Grant Williams and tries to drive past him, but I personally say the defender is in pretty good position here, so really not sure why Miles Bridges is coming to double just one pass away. Easy kick out for Moody as he bottoms another three pointer. There you guys have it, a quick breakdown on Moses Moody's solid game where he made the most of his minutes by capitalizing on the weak side. Moody's specialty is hitting open threes and attacking closeouts when asked upon, so it was great to see him have an efficient game. We all wanted to see more of him as Warriors fans, last night was a solid team effort overall. Hope you guys liked this quick one and like and subscribe to see more.